All right, welcome everybody to my second video here. Uh, this is a game I am actually very proud of, and it is also one of the first times I went into the game with a strategy that I wanted to do, and afterwards I felt like, yeah, that was actually a good strategy. I'm not really sure if it was. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So, some background on this game. Uh, this is the second round of the Fog Tournament. Uh, I kind of won my first round very decisively against someone I was in a really big standard battle with in ranked at the time. So I felt really good about that. I felt like maybe I'm actually pretty good at Fog. I was getting a bit more confident in myself at this point. And also, I think this is the exact game I discovered you could ban more than one CO. And I think it happened something like I was gonna ban Red, but then I was like, maybe I should ban Lin, and I clicked to see what Lin does, and then I saw they were both, and I was like, wait, what? Then I banned a bunch of stuff. And so this is also why we see some l lower powered COs here. Uh, I remember, I don't remember much about the bannings, but I remember all the, I'm gonna call them red CEOs, the CEOs um, that are of the main thing from the campaign, like Isabella, Will, uh, Lin, Banner, they were all banned. Uh, I think most of the of the custom CEOs were banned as well. I think I may have been the only one that wasn't. Like, I feel like we banned like six entirely different COs. There was very little COs left here. Uh, and he decided to go with Tinker. I decided to go with Tasha Plus because I looked at this map and because it was a tournament, I was actually looking a bit more in depth at these kind of maps. Um, basically, I realized that a Tasha Copter from here gets to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a big area to cover and I felt that I was probably gonna get to this comp tower and he was probably gonna get to this comp tower and I felt with a Tasha copter here I should be able to grab this area from him. I also went um, quite in depth in zero crafting my capture route because I found it interesting because there's a, like a decision do you go to the middle immediately or do you get these Corpters in the back first, and I decided that because they're all chains here, like this is a three chain, this is a two chain, uh, that it's probably worth it to send your first infantries to these. I actually still use the capture route I came up with here uh, in my games. I think it's probably the best one. I, I see a lot of good players do something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, uh, that was basically going in. Also going in, Cheshire Cat I think has the exact same rating. Yep, he was 6 and 0 in ranked with a 13.85 ranking. I was 13.12 at the time, I believe. Uh, and I was 2 and 0. So we were both undefeated in 4 before ranked. So I didn't know how good he really was, you know. I think there was at the time I thought he might be like a advanced force by web player who didn't really play much from Tiny Wars and decided to come playing for the tournament, something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I just didn't really know and I took it very seriously and I really thought, you know, if I, uh, let, I'm going to start and I'm going to go over my thought process. That was my thought process for before was to, uh, yeah, so my plan here was, before I get started, was he knows I'm Tasha Plus, so he's probably going to be expecting copters very early, so he might start with a anti-air, so. I was gonna build three tanks before I was gonna build any copters, and I was gonna try and bait this entire out. Uh, that was my entire game plan here, and let's see how it works out. So, uh, at the start, we're just gonna start with some infantries. Um, yeah. So this is already different, right? He's immediately going forward. I looked at it and I decided, yeah, I think it is actually worth to go backward with this one first uh, because it's a chain. Uh, so he immediately goes for this and he also skips here. So I actually think, uh, I of course didn't know he did this in the game, 
but I think this is already giving me a pretty considerable advantage here. Um, so yeah, I looked it through and I decided here, and I still do this, to skip this seaport uh, for one turn and instead turn it into two chains. So this effect is going to go here, here, and this one's going to go here, here. And I think it makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to make two bikes to go for these two properties. Uh, I still do this every game if I get this side. The purple side, I'm going to call it. It's a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I go for this. I go for this. And yeah, I, this capture chain works out really, really nicely in my opinion. Um, I think these days, this... I sent this one to the, yeah, I sent this one to the airport, so I get the airport uh, one turn earlier, and I use my bike to get this one instead of my um, infantry. So it's a little bit of difference. It's not a, a huge deal. Uh, so yeah, I get the comp tower nice and early. I go for this thing. I go for this thing. So you can actually interrupt this here, uh, which I don't think he wants to. I think he wants to secure his own tower here. Yeah, okay, so he's not gonna interrupt this. Let's see if I finish the capture. I think I should finish the capture here. Let's see if I do it. And yeah, so I started out with one tank here, and I'm gonna build two tanks this turn. That's gonna give me the three tanks I want. So let's see, am I finishing this? I am finishing that. I like it. Go me. Uh, yeah, I, I realize I might lose the, the infantry here, but I have decent backup here with my tank. And he did indeed build an anti-air first. So I was kind of right around that one. I also know that he built, got 10 energy from this, so I expected his CO to be in the HQ here, and since the covers as well is practically in his HQ, so I get to kill that, I attack this, now I 100% know the CO is in there because that calc did not <laughs> work without the CO bonus and this is when I'm gonna start building copters here, and I already know not to base cap, I Past me would have base skipped here, but I realized uh, I should probably not do that. So luckily he doesn't have a tank here. If he did, he would get traded out again. And uh, yeah, I'm really just trying to force fighting over here. I'm also gonna leave these two infantries over here for a bit. Um, maybe retreat this to the comp tower, but I'm not gonna try and be green here because I know I'm over here. There's no way he's not over there. So he gets some scouting done. I see he is pretty defensive. So I'm not really sure why. Um, yeah, so I start cycling copters because at the moment I board Tasha. Everything around it is gonna get um, gonna get the extra movement. And I didn't want to put it up here because I saw you could see from the mountain. Um, so yeah. My plan here. Alright, so this is an important turn. Stop. No, you're giving it away. Alright. So I had a plan here. I was like he I'm sure he has an anti here. He knows he knows I'm Tasha. Like I'm gonna try and bait the anti out. So I thought he would have this city. Like I have this city. Um, so I start by capturing this. I then see, oh, this one is neutral. That's interesting. But I still really want to force him to really start fighting over here. So uh, I knew this was empty last turn when I scouted it. And because my tank is here, I saw nothing went in it. So I was like, all right, we're actually going to go with my bike to capture this. Surely he's going to have to do something about this. And he still doesn't see, I, I believe, I, I don't know if I know about his Reckon, barely not seeing my stuff. I do still know about his infantry, of course, seeing up until here. Like, I know he sees up until here. I know he sees my tank. So yeah, I want to make sure his anti-air has to come. 
so I also attack in a little bit, knowing this is probably not going to be the best trades for me. So let's see how that goes. I let's see how I actually feel this recon. Try and block a little bit. I get some attacks in. I actually, I think I leave this tank in the moderate protection of the forest because he's been here a while. I'm not sure he knows about it. Um, so yeah, his anti-air comes out. He starts killing my tanks. Gets another hit on this tank. He feels this tank, but there's nothing left to hit. And he starts being very aggressive, but this was all part of my plan. So another thing I realized this turn is I had to actually really go over this turn in the simulator. So the nice thing is, all right, so I'm obviously I'm gonna CO power up here, CO up here and go for it. So I realized during my, um, uh, during this is that of course if I abuse the eight movement these copters now have look they get very far if I use that they actually attack outside of the zone which is plus 40 I believe it's plus 40 yeah so effectively plus 50% offense if they attack from the zone so I actually had to think uh, if that was worth it in some cases but um, yeah I really Look this turn through, my entire point was to try and kill as many tanks with my copters and kill the uh, anti-air with my two tanks here. So let's see how I go about that. Um, it starts of course by boarding the copter, let's see what happens. So yeah, I got a nice hit there, I get out of the way, I reveal this tank, I one shot it. I kill this one and then this is actually from the zone so it one shoots this tank over here so I get a really 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 good turn uh, getting four three vehicles and putting another one to two uh, and he doesn't really have much cover here he only has really foot soldiers left uh, and I'm once again very luckily outside <laughs> this um, artillery range so he is gonna regroup here very sensible move by him uh, and he's gonna build some more anti airs because he realized wow you've been sent back in those copters and I had so this turn I want I realize he pulled back and I want to ensure I'm gonna get these two properties so I'm gonna push very aggressively over here uh, and I'm gonna start capturing these two properties and I'm gonna like form a wall while getting a bunch of his stuff However, in forming this wall, it is not the best wall. He is actually really annoying. He taking up the space here. I do have to expose a bunch of stuff. So he's gonna try and kill both my copters here. He's gonna be able to. And I see he put his CO in a medium tank, which makes me think he's probably very broke. Because that is an expensive move. And I know I have a 2k lead at least. Probably, like for sure, it's going to be 2k actually. Um, uh, but, but it's gonna be 6k now, and I'm also gonna have both the comp towers, which is a huge advantage, of course. And I'm gonna try doing it again, you know. It worked last time, why is it not gonna work this time, you know? Uh, I got what I wanted here in these two cities, uh, these two properties. I'm gonna slowly push in here. I have a huge unit count lead over here. There not the most expensive units. I decide to move this more over here because I saw this copter. Um, so he reveals all my tanks. He uses the Tinker Power which is very cheap to try and do some damage to me. It's not doing too much. And he also sees my copters here. I looked at this and I realized I could not get a greater turn as I could last time. No, so I'm not gonna go for it yet. I'm just gonna send one copter to try and bait out some anti-air. Try and do the same thing we did last time. And I'm just gonna try and kill, clean up a bunch of infantry with my other units. I do notice he's putting some more emphasis on this side here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave this here. Yeah, so I did. I leave some tanks hidden, but so I see his anti-air and 
basically you're gonna see the power of Tasha Copters next turn here uh, with my pretty much the devastating blow. Uh, I don't see too much about what's going on over here, but I do see this tank. I saw this tank going in here. Uh, and basically after getting this and after going for this hit, I go back into the... Uh, I, I reveal a lot with this move. Let's uh, go back real quick. So with this move, I reveal all these units over here. And I realize that if I kill this infantry, my copters have a clear angle on the, uh, on the medium tank here. So I decide to go for it. I first kill this to make room for my anti air to get a kill on copter here. Then I go over here. This one goes over here. And now I have to kill this infantry. And I don't quite kill the medium tank, but it is very much hurt. Not really very useful to it anymore. I also start capturing this. I already have a 6k lead. I'm trying to make it 8. He really has to stop this to have like a chance, but. Uh, at this point, I'm up 15 units, and it's just a bit too much. And in Fog, basically when you do an attack like this, and you can't quite clean up your units, like you're gonna see here, like my anti-air is gonna live, I believe. And like, you know that you're probably gonna be able to storm through, because if you can't clean up this, you won't be able to clean up your reinforcement. So, I got a really nice last turn here. Getting, removing the super power boost, getting his anti-air, getting his copter, getting this one, being well out of range with this anti-air, getting an 8k lead, leaving him with pretty much two half-life tanks, one tank, super two tanks, and you can see the army value as well, he has five units left. This game is over, and he agrees, and he resigns. Uh, it. He's gonna get one hit in there, and then he resigns. So yeah, that was uh, a game I really, really, really liked. The game because I thought of this move with the airport from the start. It was not as good as I thought it would be because, of course, I didn't realize if you move your copters first when they attack, they no longer have the 50% attack boost. Um, but yeah, it, it worked out really, really well, and I felt very proud. This was like my favorite game for a long time. Uh, and with this, I advanced to the third round of the uh, Fog Tournament, which I believe was top 16, which I was also very proud of. Um, still not very high rated, but I am no longer base skipping. You can kind of see what a difference it makes, right? I have like a huge army. Um, and yeah, I was getting a bit more confident here as well because I was thinking of strategies and they were actually working like with the uh, Battle copters over here um, So yeah, let me know what you thought about this game. I personally really loved it uh, if you uh, Of course when I watched it back. I realized I already had a huge advantage from the capturing route. I think I had like Something like 8k more income when we finally started battling which of course helped a lot um, but I didn't know it at the time and uh, I think I played it pretty well let me know what you thought about this game and uh, thank you for watching until next time